Good afternoon and welcome back to another exciting video. This video I'm going to do is on based on page 412, 413, 414. And the reason I'm going to do this video will be quite short, but it's a very important video in that there's always high marks for this question. And it's the nuclear disintegration equations. So what I'm going to look at is I'm going to look at the general rule that always applies for alpha and beta emission. We'll talk about the gamma emission. That way, love. That's a continue. We'll talk about the parent, the dot, or the particle. We'll then do questions on page four thirteen. I'm going to do eight, and the question numbers nine, and we're going to discuss each question and see how the cookie crumbles. So the first thing that we need to know about. Uh, nuclear disintegration equations is the sort of the general equation so the parent now the parent is the nuclei that's going to split right and that always gives you a daughter and a particle so that's the general rule now now we're going to step it up again and we're going to talk about a cross zebra zebra a cross zebra Right, so that's going to go to your daughter plus a particle. And it depends on these particles. Like if it's an alpha particle, we need to know 4, 2, HE. We need to know that it is like a helium nucleus. The next one we need to know is a beta particle not E minus one, it's like a fast moving electron that comes from the nucleus, which is sort of an oxymoron, but it's not. And the last one we're gonna talk about, but we're not really gonna talk about it, is the gamma. Because it's usually associated with these two sometimes, and sometimes it's not. And then sometimes it's whenever a parental nucleus de-excites de and it gives out the energy as a gamma ray. But we'll talk about that when the time comes. So we're going to look at the general rule for this one here first. So we'll go up here and we'll talk about the parent. And that's going to go to a daughter plus an alpha. The parent will be a cross zebra. Goes to the daughter plus the alpha. 4, 2, H, G. E. Now, what's the blue dot on the screen? The atomic number and the atomic mass on this side has to equal to the atomic number and the atomic masses on this side. So this daughter will definitely be A minus 4. That will be the atomic mass of it because A minus 4 add 4 gives me A. Have a look at it again and just make sure that's a good clear 4. A, take away 4, add 4, gives me A. So therefore this one here, we'll go we'll talk about the atomic numbers now. So that must be Z, take away 2. Z, take away 2, add 2, gives me Z. So that's the general rule for the nuclear disintegration involving an alpha particle. Now we're going to talk about, we'll go down to this one. We're going to talk about the nuclear disintegration of a beta particle. So it's very similar. Look, remember going over here again? Over here, please, blue that, follow me. Um, this is the general rule. So there's the general rule here. And that's the specific rule for alpha emission. Now I'm going to do the specific rule for beta emission. So parent goes to daughter plus the particle that's the general rule now the parent will always be x a cross zebra yes the daughter will be the daughter and the beta particle will be not e minus one so if you don't know that you learn it a tasteful tattoo on the inside of your forearm, there's another way of learning it. But I don't think your mother will be too pleased. So, so what's this number here going to be? Remember, the atomic number here 
as to equal the atomic number over here. So that's going to be z plus 1. Because z plus 1, take away 1, gives me z. What about the atomic mass or the mass number? Well, a plus 9 gives me a. So those are the two equations. And then finally we'll talk about this chap here, the gamma. And all we're going to say is that the parent nucleus de-excites. That's that. Fair enough. Now I'm going to go, if you follow me, to page 413. I'm going to look at question number 8. I'm going to do A, B, C, D, E and F. And because they're alpha, I'll stick it on the upside. There's the alpha rule here. But I'm going to go up here to do it. Fair enough. So I'm going to do the first one. And I'm going to talk my way through it and you follow me. But you should open the book at page 413 and do question number 8. This is the best way to teach these. So I'm going to say uranium-238, uranium-92, and it's going to uh, decay or split, or fire out an alpha particle, and it goes to thorium plus an alpha particle, 4-2-H-E. So what is the thorium? That has to be 90, because 90 and 2 gives me 92. So what about the top number? 2, 3, 4. 4 and 2, 3, 4 gives me 2, 3, 8. Happy days. Let's do the next one now. It's plutonium. Imagine having that in your sandwiches. So the plutonium splits to give you uranium, 2, 3, 8, something, plus an alpha particle. Let's see if we fill them in. Well, this has to be... 92. 92 and 2 gives me 94. So what's the atomic mass number of plutonium? It must be 242. 238 two, add 4 is 242. Happy days. Now, we'll go to the next one. CF. Not too sure what CF is. You're going to look these all up. I'm not going to look them up. 251 goes to CM plus an alpha particle. 4, 2, HE. Right, so what else am I told here? I'm told that's 96. And because, well, I'll, finish, I'll look these up when I'm finished it. That's 96. And that's 2. So this side, the atomic numbers on this side had to add up so that must have been 98 so the atomic masses have to add up so that must be i'm going to get the calculator because sometimes you can be a wee bit of the whole thing 251 take away four and i get 247 so now just check it and never just because of about a laziness 96 and 2 gives me 98 247 and 4 gives me 251. Right. I'll do the next couple and then I'll look up what these are. Again, you, you forget these things. They're not going to be the most abundant elements that you're going to meet in your life. Right, so what have we told here? That's 170 and that's 70. Well, should be fairly straightforward. These two atomic numbers should add up to this atomic number. So that must be 72. These two atomic mass numbers must add up to give you that one. Happy days. Right, let's do E. I know that's bismuth. Thank God I know something. And that goes to, I believe it's tellurium. Plus an alpha particle. Now right, let's fill in the bits and pieces that we have here. Right. Uh, we're told that's 81. And we're told that that's 207. So again, these two atomic numbers add up. That gives you 83. These two add up to give you 211. That's the same as these two added up. That 
is the same as these two added up. Now the last question. Uh, phone's going mad here. Well, I know what I'll do. I'll ask you to look these up on the quiz. Ah, that's a good one. I'll ask you to look up these ones I don't know. So, that's 190 here. 190. And that's 42. And that's 76. So, let's do the atomic numbers. 76 and 2, 78. This side is the same as this side. This side is the same as this side. 190, so that must be 186. Fair enough. Well, there's one of them long thing. Now, I'm going to go way down here. I'm going to look at page 414. I'm going to look at the beta emissions. Number 9. A, B, C, D, E, and F. So we're going to start off with our old friend, not the suit on Santi suit, although it still will be on Santi suit because that's how they do carbon dating. Goes to nitrogen plus a beta particle naught E minus 1. Now look, remember here's the rules over here. Please, machine, come over to match. Where are you now? There's it there. Machine's doing wee bits of silly things at the minute. Right, so we'll have to get these numbers. So that must be 7. Because 7 add minus 1 is 6. And that must be 14. 14 add naught is 14. Let's do the next one. Hydrogen goes to helium plus a beta particle. Now, again, let me just talk about this one in a minute. Something add minus one gives you one, so that must be two. Two take away one gives you one, so that must be three. Now that is hydrogen, but that is actually tritium. It is an isotope, same atomic number, different atomic mass. This is also an isotope of helium. You think of the helium, you know it's four, two HA. Same atomic number, different atomic mass. So this is an isotope of helium. Now right, let's do the next one. Cesium. Cesium goes to Ba, not Baracus, plus a beta particle. 56 and 137. Let's see if we fill in the bits and pieces. Well, that has to be 137. Because 137 plus nothing gives me 137. Yes, 137 plus nothing gives me 137. 56 take away 1 is 55. So that's the cesium. Now let's do the potassium one. K19. K19. Okay, goes to calcium. Calcium 40 something. Plus a beta particle, not E minus 1. So this must be 20. 20, take away 1, gives me 19. What about the top one? 40 plus nothing gives me 40. So that's that one done. Let's do the next one. Cobalt goes to nickel. Plus a beta particle. So... What numbers does it give me? It gives me that as 60 and it gives me that as 28. So the cobalt, 28 take away 1 must be 27. These numbers add up to give you these numbers and that must be 60. And the last one, phosphorus, P, 1532, goes to something, sulfur, plus not e minus one so that must be 16 16 take away one gives me 15 
And that must be 32. And there we have all those questions done. So, quick recap. Parent, daughter, particle. There's really only two of glory bit. Alpha and beta. There's the alpha one. There's it there. There's the alpha one. So important. Learn it. Beta. There's the beta one. Nor that big line in it. I have no idea how that got there. Right? Over here, we have all the alpha ones done. So we'll loop them all together. And over here, we have all the beta ones done. Now, sit down, learn it, and do the quiz. I'll talk to you shortly.